Welcome to the Wordy Girl Entertainment Podcast. I am your writer-in-chief, Rosalind Jackson. I am a lover of words, and that love led me to a passion for writing. And what's the next best thing to writing? Talking about writing. So kick back and join me for mind-blowing chats about writing covering everything from screenplays to novels to poetry, from nonfiction books to songwriting, and much more. Hey, my word nerds. What's up, y'all? I am back with a new episode. I know, finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all of that. Well, today's topic is kind of related to that issue of not doing things when you're supposed to do them. (laughs) Procrastination. Uh, So this is going to be about tackling your to-do list, productivity, keeping yourself consistent. And I was on the phone the other day with a friend and we were chatting. Um, She was doing some uh, decluttering or organizing in her home. And uh, we usually talk about the subject of decluttering and uh, give each other motivational tips, um, you know, here and there. Um, or let each other know about our progress. So as she was mentioning what she was working on, that motivated me to start doing some decluttering of my own. And I had been meaning to declutter underneath my kitchen sink for a while. It's been on my to-do list forever, and I just had not tackled it. And the thing that uh, made me want to tackle it is because I needed to fit a my mop bucket underneath my sink because it's been sitting in my kitchen to the side, and I have a small kitchen, so it's it's in the way. Um, so I needed to clean that sink out underneath so that I can put the bucket away, so it won't be in my way. And I'll have room to maneuver. And and also it's just unsightly sitting there. It's not supposed to be out in the open looking like an eyesore. So I put it on my to-do list. Well, like I said, um, having that conversation with her motivated me to declutter underneath the sink right at that moment as we were talking on the phone. So as we were talking, I completed the task and I was really excited because I was like finally I got this off my list and because I can be such a procrastinator any little thing that I can mark off on my list is an excitement for me it's a celebration because I did it well my friend says she doesn't celebrate until she finishes the whole project And which is fine if that works for her, that's great. But that doesn't work for me because I need little motivations along the way. As I uh, continued to celebrate, I was like, yay, me. And um, I went on to explain to her what my decluttering, what my to-do list process was. Um, I have a master to-do list where I have all of the things I want to do written on this one list, and that is categorized into things like household, career, um, or whatever other topic. So it's one master list. And then I take certain items from that master list and put them onto my weekly list, things I want to accomplish that week. And once I have them on that list... Whatever I tackle for that week, I put it on my daily list. So if I had uh, wash the dishes on my weekly list, which I call my today I accomplished list. So I'll move that over there and then I'll say today I accomplished washing the dishes. And that'll go on that list. If um, if I've done other things, it goes on that list also. So it gives me a little satisfa- satisfaction when I see things on that list. And it lets me know, you did something today. You didn't procrastinate like you normally do. So, you know, it's a little celebration. And um, when I have things that are a big task to tackle, it it overwhelms me. 
and I start thinking about all the things that need to be done and it hinders me from getting something complete. So I believe in the um, philosophy, how do you eat an elephant? Well, bite by bite, because you can't eat an elephant all together at one time. You can't swallow it whole, so you got to do it bite by bite, right? So that is my motto. Tackle something bit by bit, um, and that way at least you get something done every day. That's my tip for the day. Go slow if you have to. At least get something done on your list today. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter how much it is. Uh, if it's if you have five loads of laundry to do, uh, just do one. At least you got something done. Because if you're thinking about that five loads, nine times out of ten, you're going to get frustrated and you don't want to sit around and wait and wait for five loads of laundry to, to wash and dry. Um, just, just do one load. If you're overwhelmed, do one load. At least you got something done that day. And that's... That's my motto, and it's been helping me lately, so I'm going to keep at it, and I'm going to post when I have little accomplishments, and you'll you'll see it on my social media pages, and that's what I'm going to be doing from now on because it helps me, and hopefully it will help somebody else and motivate them. So if you're anything like me, take it day by day. That's all. Thanks for taking the time to tune in to the Wordy Girl Entertainment Podcast. Don't forget to check out my blog at www.wordygirlent.com. That's W-O-R-D-Y-G-I-R-L-E-N-T.com. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at at WordyGirlENT and on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash wordy girl ent and always remember it all begins with a single word so what are you waiting for go right